Good day. This is Miss Isis with today's little jewel. I got a message this morning that somebody had um, abducted a three-month-old child and it was a male. So today let's talk about the masculine and the feminine. The world has become a mock because people have yet to understand masculine energies and feminine energies in the West. In the Eastern traditions, we have the yin and the yang. However, the feminine is represented in the color black, as where the masculine is represented in the color white. So now let's go back to the West. Black is construed as a negative energy and white as a positive. However, the feminine is a black or negative energy in accordance to the yin and the yang. Is a feminine a negative energy? Not at all, it is a creative energy. Creation, if we take a closer look as we observe the nature, can be chaotic. And masculine can be of order. Does that mean the masculine therefore rules the feminine? Not at all. It means that together in unity, they become one beautified growth. If you only have masculine, you surely cannot have growth and development. If you only have feminine, you also have this issue. Now, if we take a look at the anatomy of a woman, her anatomy is to receive, as where a man's anatomy is to give. And let's look at all of the nature. The feminine of all created animals is to receive, and the masculine of all created animals is to give. So what does that mean for the humans? As for us, we should be doing the following. Understand your femininity if you are a woman. Understand that your role is not in struggle, strife, but it is to relax and receive. And as for the masculine, yours is quite different. The masculine is to be the guardians of the women because the women are the jewels as in the Om of Om Mane Bane Hum, whereas the jewel is in the lotus. The woman, the feminine, she is the jewel, and the masculine is the lotus. Why is the jewel within the lotus and being hidden? So the masculine is the protector of women. They are the givers. Look at the anatomy of the masculine to give. Your role is not to attempt to take from the feminine. So in a relationship, when the woman has a child, that's her gift due to the fact that she received. She received from the masculine the seed and produced something even greater. And in that, it was a child. So when a man, such as what took place today, grabs that little three-month-old child, even if it's his progeny, it is not for him to do. As for it was given to the woman. Number one. Number two, only she can care properly for this child. There is no other, especially in this age group. As such, no matter how much supplemental milks or diaper changes this male may perform, it is not the mother and it is not even the comfort of the mother that can be given. Only the mother herself. Understand your feminine first. All women, I know we have been in thousands of years of struggle because men have tried to use their power to dominate us. The truth is, we are not to be dominated, but we are to be protected by that power. And as for the masculine, understand your role. 
not to be taking from the wife or the females because you believe her to have equality. That equality is in spirit. You are to always be the giver and provider and protector of the woman you have in your life and the children given to her. I hope you all have a wonderful and beautiful day and we'll have more on these topics in the future.